Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon again. My title is, When You Pray, Seal Your Prayer with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Here's why. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take this slow because this is a lot of teaching. I haven't been pretty much preaching on here. I've been teaching. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Go ahead, press tag and share because this is invaluable information. And I'm not just saying this. Praise God. I think the more, and no thinking, the more that we really spend time with God, because this is about relationship. It's not about how many times you um, crack the church doors open. Well, come on, somebody. I'm just being honest with you, the truth. You can go to church 24-7 and still not be saved. You can go 24-7, learn the word of God. You can go to 24-7, preach the word of God and still not be saved. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying because I'm seeing it more and more. How I know? Because people are not being healed and delivered because they don't understand scripture. So let me go ahead and um, I'm going to be teaching you guys something, okay, that God told me about three or four months ago, but Always wait for confirmation, even after God says something, because I want to make sure, because you already know. Being, I think people don't understand. When you give a prophecy or something like that, it doesn't mean it's going to happen that same day. Now, sometimes they do, because God can do what he want to do. But for the most part, this thing is a process. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Say somebody say prophecy is process. I don't know why y'all thinking it's going to happen like that. Sometimes they do, but most time God is just giving you a, 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 you know, a picture of what's to come, confirmation of what's to come. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and tell y'all, because so many people are getting fooled by everybody a prophet now. Y'all know they lying. Hallelujah. I'm about to tell you how they lying and how they lying. Okay. So the scripture is Matthew 24, 24. I'm going to be teaching this one. Okay. Um, first of all, God was telling me, said, Deanna, I want you when you pray from now to seal it with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I didn't ask, I didn't ask any questions, but someone just confirmed it. And not only that, God confirmed it as well. So here it says in Matthew 24, 24, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible that they should deceive the very elect. Well, that's what's going on in this hour. A lot of people are being deceived. Every time you pray, I want you to make sure that you say Jesus Christ of Nazareth because you have to identify what Jesus you're talking about. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because the demons, oh, come on. I'm, I'm going to go here. I'm, I'm going to slow it down so I can really teach this thing. So go ahead and um, bear with me. I'm going to give you scriptures to back up everything, so bear with me. And not only that, I want you to see, okay, so who was born Jesus in the Bible, right? As we find the name born Jesus in the Bible in Acts 13, 6, 7, they traveled through the whole island until they came to Pontus. They met a Jewish sorcerer and false prophet named Bar Jesus. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Who was an attendant of the prosco, Sergius Paulius, the prosco of an intelligent man sent for Barnabas and Saul because he wanted to hear the word of God. That's just a couple of scriptures to back you up. People, I think the church don't understand how God is processing things in this hour. Everybody's trying to be all deep and everything, but there's revelation. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. The reason why consecration is considered powerful is because when you're in consecration, there comes revelation. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I did not know these things. I'm just being honest with you. I, 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 and that's why, oh, I'm going here. You notice people in Hollywood, they say, oh, I think Jesus. They'll say Jesus. Now nah, we know why, huh? Because they're really not identifying that it's Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yo, come on, somebody, hallelujah, because there was only one Jesus. Oh, come on, somebody, Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth that died on the cross. So anytime you meet somebody and you, you really don't know where they're coming from, ask them, do you believe in Jesus Christ of Nazareth? What Jesus you talking about? Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to go a little deeper. Oh, hallelujah. I, I, I know it's, it's messing up some of you right now. Like, what do you mean? In the spiritual realm, there are three Jesuses. Listen to me. Listen to me. Of course, Jesus has many of names. But in the spiritual realm, there's the Antichrist. Come on, somebody. That's the spirit of Bar Jesus. That's what I just was a sorcerer. And then there's Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I know you have never heard of this teaching. I get it. I get it. I get it. But it's right here. It's right here. I got the phone and I got the Bible. People of God, I'm telling you, and I, I want you. To, I want you to really be blessed by this teaching. I want you to share it. I want you to get in that word and dig it up for yourself. 
I could yeah, at first I was thrown off too. I said, "Now wait a minute, what's going on here?" I, I know Jesus is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're talking about in the spiritual demonic realm. They try to what amputate Jesus. They try to emulate Jesus. They try to assimilate Jesus. Come on, somebody, hallelujah! So that's what they're doing. So that's why a lot of prayers are not even being answered because you are not identifying that you are praying to the Christ. Come on, somebody, hallelujah! Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Sharp to the point. Not a big old long thing. Please, just don't believe me. Come on, somebody. I want you to get in that Bible. I want you to go to Jesus and ask him everything. Don't ever just believe anything anybody says. Come on, somebody. But I, but I do. I do challenge you to find out. So that's why some of your prayers have not been answered. Always be careful. You will never hear me say now. Even my posts, go back. The last couple of posts, especially Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So short to the point. I'm getting on here. I got I got to do two more videos, I think, because one thing about God has been pouring on a lot in me, and I just want you guys to be blessed. But more so, another thing, I have one more thing to talk about, too. Make sure your, your relationship with Jesus Christ is real, because a lot of people, that's going to be the next video. So just go ahead, stay tuned, because I'm going to get off and get back on. Excuse me. There's a lot of stuff going on that's not of God. Oh, my God, people, this is the great falling away. Be careful. Be careful. And how you know your spirit should bear witness with it. If it don't bear witness, it ain't God. All right, I'll be coming back on here, and I'm going to talk about something in another minute. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon, Real Life Soldiers, for that is who you are. Uh, let's get it.